All right, this here is a 1987 Cadillac. I think it's the Brome de Elegance. Um, same body as a DeVille. It's a limousine. Really nice car. Runs great. Um, I'm going to do the once over here. I'll tell you, I think it's going to be a hard one to do a video of because um, I can't keep it in frame very easy. And I lose because it's so damn big. I just can't get get it all in there. That's what she said. <laughs> and other than that, lots of chrome brushed aluminum. You can see some obvious damage, and I'm going to go over that in a second. Um, just want to give you the once around on it. Pretty good car. All the chrome's beautiful. California car. I'm telling you, I'm walking all the way across the parking lot here to get a picture. Drives nice. Drives beautifully. Smooth. Shifts nice. Whole deal. A great car. Okay. I'm going to go up and show you any damage that I see on the car. I'll show you underneath it the whole deal. Um... Started on the passenger side door type fender. Beautiful. Just as nice as the day is long. Your rocker panel right there. Coming back just a little bit because of age. But it's in great shape. Fender, great shape. Paint, great shape. A little bit of chipping right there. How these little plastic filler parts always get it there. A little scuff here and there that you can hardly see. Your tires are... Uh, Michelin radial and I'll tell you Man, they got Little titties all over the side of them And I'll bet you there's 75 85 percent tread there and remember with this kind of a car It's really important. You have good tires on it um, It's a heavy heavy rig and you need nice Michelin's that can hold the load and all that stuff Chrome is absolutely beautiful on it um, In the fender wells, it's in great shape Someone took care of this car. It doesn't have a lot of miles. I believe it's a two owner. And from what I know on it, it was used for more of a personal type thing. This would be a great car to cruise around in and conduct business. Get some wireless internet in here. Oh boy. It'd be great for games too. Forget a camper. A little chip here. Little ding in here somewhere. Where'd it go? Right there. Just nice as can be. Could use a good wax. Really, it's just great shape though. Besides the damage I'm going to show you here, they did at the auction when I got it. Man, it's beautiful. Almost paint would be almost perfect without that. The top is in great condition. It's not all messed up anywhere. You got a couple areas somewhere where and you can tell here it's coming apart right there. The guy should kind of clean this up. This one needs to be um, brought up. And you can tell that one there isn't brought up the same. You got a little bit of corrosion right in here in this filler piece. And this here rubber piece is cracked along the edge of this window and kind of coming out down there. Yeah, I could have just siliconed it back in there really easy, but it's just as good to leave it and show you. I want you to know what you're getting here. That basically, this needs to be torn out. It needs to be taken out and it needs to be um, fixed. That's all there is to it. Chip here. Um, big dent. Really don't see it till you get up on it, but there's a dent there. And that's one of the worst ones. A couple spots where the windows or the tint is going on them. You can see they're bubbling. This here, factory black coming off that. A um, couple spots underneath this, like it gets it, where the corrosion gets underneath the paint. Right there, and coming across the back, there's a few. You can see the bubbling on that, too. Your big crocodile Dundee antenna. Boomerang looking thing is broken. Um, probably should just be taken off nowadays. They don't really look as cool, I guess. Um, the chrome and, and the filler panels here. These filler panels are usually gone. 
as you can tell they got a little scratch right there but this filler panel it's stress cracking a little and but they're in great shape usually they're pretty much gone by now same thing on this side great shape a little crack up top a little chip right there it's where they smacked it into something and you can tell it's not rusty it just got the surface rust from that paint being sitting out here and just getting moisture on it and stuff. We had a lot of moisture here, a lot of rain in the last while. A couple of little marks on there. Like I say, underneath the car, as nice as it gets. California car, not all rusted out or anything. Um, continuing around the outside, Cadillac logo is gone, and there's a little piece of paint that came off from behind it. The rocker panel. That back rocker panel right there is gone. Um, like I said, your tires and caps are in great shape. Smushed that, got that a smidge there. And that piece is gone. And them are factory pieces. Uh, the only piece would be hard to get that one. And it's here. They barely scraped this along something here. And it just pushed it in a bit, almost not enough. There you go, you can see it right in there. But this piece of trim is missing. Do we have that? And they, same thing here on this, same thing. But crack that window. And I got a price on it for between 180 to 275, depending on a couple different things they told me. So that's pretty much the outside walk around of the car. Um, all your chrome's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and get in it and I'll um, try and start it up and turn all the power onto the back extremities extremities. Beautiful on the inside. Crushed velvet looking velour interior. All kinds of lights and everything. Windows are locked from the front. Hey, unlock the windows from the driver's panel to where I can use these. Everything is all intact here. Got this access for the rear area. child lock or something no forget it if all the power is on um, your moon roof the back one works here fine from the back button but not from the front button um, the front one see you got this panel here I hope you can see that hard to see but all these controls oh and the mini bar how do we get to the mini bar I can't read it you can turn your fan up. There we go, bar door. Pretty cool. With the mirror in there and everything. So very functional machine. Um, you got this here radio thing and I don't know much about how all the output and input and everything is. It's an old school Sony CD player. Oh, your partitions, you can put the solid glass one up to quiet out him and you can also put up the felt board one. Cove and halo lights. Oh yeah. You got them lights up there. Moon roof front. That's the control for the sunroof. Sunroof, moon roof also. That one is not functional. They both cover up. Um, you got the ice box up here for this thing with cup holders everywhere around it. All that over there, hope you can see cup holder type things. I'm gonna get up here and look backwards at it. Yeah, baby, this would be nice for the games. Whoever loses the big bet has to be the designated, designated limo driver. Okay, I'm gonna try and get the trunk here. Um, I don't know if I wanna drive this thing around the parking lot, it's huge. I'm gonna have to at some point. Um, good day for it, not a lot of people in here. Don't have my limo license. Let's see here. Okay, this one is working, but slow. Go check that one from the back door, see if it works. 
that one is working and slow. Front both work. And by slow, I mean it's an older car. It works like it should. It works down and up. Okay. How about that one? Yeah. Your seat. All the tilt controls seem to be good on it. And it works in the back too from the back one. Um, your top here is in great shape. Um, we're going to pop the trunk. Pop the hood. There's your controls to turn everything on. And you can slide the partition shut from up here too. Got that open over there. Oh yeah, he popped the trunk. Nice wood, beautiful brome car. In the trunk, <clears throat> I wanted to show you. Great shape. And I don't know what, I'll show you that little control over there. Got the build sheet thing in it and tracking instructions. I don't know, let's see if this works. The Thomas Electric Corp. It's got all these tubes coming out. It goes up here, and you have these little things with plugs. It looks like there's red color in that one. Sure seems to me like it's for some kind of mini bar system or something. There's your spare. I'm sure that wraps back up top somewhere or something. Um, great car. Under the hood, let me show you all that. This thing's cheap too. I'm just I'm, I'm blowing out everything here at the first of the year. Just get it quick. I'm, I'm going to sell it cheap. I want rid of all my old stock from last year. I just got to change things. I've been keeping it around. I was going to fix it up and use it. And man, I don't know. All kinds of power converters and all kinds of stuff professionally done through a neat system here. This car has got a neat backbone to it and it's a good working machine. If you wanted to put it in service, I'm sure you could. If you want to just drive it around and give it to the wife to shop, she'll be able to buy all kinds of good stuff with the money here. And show you in the other side. And I'm going to actually go for a ride around the lot here. And got the phone to where you can talk to them in the back and everything. Seats are in great shape. Oh, headliner, great shape. I hope you can see. It's kind of hard to see that. And I closed the thing. But it's in great shape. This here needs a little putting back together and stuff. So here we go around the parking lot. Engage is real positive, real right now, and you give it some gas and it goes. And I don't get to take this one out on the road like the other ones and stuff. Um, I don't really have a place to drive most of them, let alone a limousine here. It drives really great. I mean, just a great running car. Just remember to take your turns a little wide and you should be fine. Okay, so that is the limo. Make sure and give me a call anytime. My name is Nathan. I got all kinds of neat stuff for sale. Make sure we grab that camera stuff when we stop here. That old is on there. I got a tow truck we're gonna get rid of. That Explorer we're gonna get rid of. Got a XJ12 here cheap, got a 6.9. Man, I tell you, I got some cool cars here. Um, make sure and check out my website. It's www dot cereal marshmallows dot com and you can click on blog when you get there and see a lot of the stuff I have for sale um, also you can call me it's Nathan 406 544 6919 man there's Mustangs and Lincolns and more big old wagons and I got a Mercedes back here ooh doggy Mercedes everywhere actually so give me a call anything you see on here Nathan, 406-544-6919. Beautiful limo, great shape. Definitely something that just, you, you can buy it for the price of a regular sedan. 
I mean, you can't go wrong. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Thanks for watching. And it's www.cerealmarshmallows.com. And click on blog when you get there. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are.